Now I'm going to train with Anderson Court 6, I need to run quickly. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 fit minute video. And this one was recorded on October the 7th, 2018, during my training with Kevin Anderson. And here at this moment, I was uh, just waiting for him to do some warm-up. I was extremely excited, I remember very well. I previously finished the training, I think, with Taro Daniel. This was my second day at the Shanghai Masters uh, 2018. And I was super excited and, of course, nervous. I was just uh, waiting for him to finish his warm-up. Uh, I was kind of ready, but I still wanted to, you know, keep myself on a certain level of being prepared, being ready. I was definitely watching him doing this uh, interesting warm-up and it's, uh, it's amazing to have this record as well. You can also see how he does this like shuffling and uh, different kinds of exercises before his uh, training. But yeah, one thing I noticed uh, with Kevin Anderson is he was uh, extremely focused and professional. Here I'm, I'm doing some of this explosive forehand and backhand just to get ready. And these moments are just a couple of seconds before we started and I remember very well. I was so excited, there was a music in the background uh, that kind of resembled all the emotions. You will hear it just in a second. right here so these are some of the first shots we hit and the music was kind of making me even more excited and i remember the adrenaline was like unbelievable i was trying to keep myself calm and like you know breathe uh, with every shot and you know I, I still could not believe i'm actually hitting with kevin anderson the wimbledon finalist of 2018 he also beat Federer on the way to the finals and it was just like unreal I was just trying to focus on, on the ball, just uh, trying to do my preparation for each shot and of course, as I said, breathe uh, because this is a very special situation, you know, you, you don't get to hit every day with this kind of player and, and definitely every now and then I was having a very quick thoughts, you know, about am I good enough to hit with him, is he now satisfied, you know, what if? what if he's not happy or but then like as soon as i get in that direction i kind of stop myself and just try to focus more on on the present and what am i supposed to do and the good thing is that actually his coach you can see it he's uh, on the right side he was feeding the balls his tennis coach was extremely relaxed and very chill guy i really enjoyed that and we had like a nice conversation as well also his fitness coach it's the person in white shirt uh, on, on the other side there. And he was also very nice from Germany. We also had a nice conversation during some breaks. So those kind of things helped me to kind of, uh, you know, relax a bit more because Kevin uh, himself was a little bit distant. He was kind of focused on training. He didn't uh, talk too much. Even during the breaks, he was just like kind of on his bench talking to his coach. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely this was a start and I was feeling pretty comfortable after a few minutes. I was kind of getting into the rhythm and relaxed. In general, I remember it was a pretty good feeling. Uh, I could kind of uh, hit pretty free. Of course, it was never on that complete relaxed and loose, you know, level when you're like training with some friends and you just, you can rip the balls. Here you always want to make every ball so you kind of don't want to miss so just by having this kind of uh, approach to every shot you know it's kind of 
uh, not so easy to, to be completely relaxed, but uh, there were some moments where I still managed to do that, and that was really amazing. So here there is just a little bit different view from the side and uh, you can see how, how the balls were actually going. It was kind of pretty fast, uh, especially later on when we got into some faster rhythm. It was really intense and you will notice uh, with Kevin Anderson during his training, there are very small breaks and between the rallies almost no breaks and then every real break when we get to sit on the bench and have some drink it's actually after 15-20 minutes of non-stop hitting, so it was very intense. You will see later I was struggling with breathing uh, in a couple occasions, uh, but, and that was real test for me, like this kind of training, because this was one of the few trainings I had at the uh, last year Masters, when I actually hit a long time with the player, because this was actually not a warm-up before the match, this was an actual training. This one lasted almost one and a half hours and it was extremely, extremely intense. Now here you can see it from a little bit different angle. You will notice here, right here, Kevin is asking me to move back a bit. So he wants to start hitting a little bit uh, more loopy balls and maybe he wants to get a little bit more time. I was not too happy with that because I had my comfortable spot around the baseline, uh, especially on this court, but of course I have no choice how to do what he asked me to. And you will notice here slowly, so he's hitting the balls behind the baseline, maybe like two meters. But slowly after a couple of rallies here, he will step in more. It kind of looks like that he was trying to find or uh, practice different types of shots and you know, playing different kind of uh, game and getting into the faster rhythm. I think right here, he will start, as you can see, closer to the baseline and he will try to take the ball earlier, which actually I preferred more on this surface. It's it's kind of, for me, easier to get this rhythm and it's, uh, the balls are going faster and you kind of spend less, uh, less energy for these shots if you take them early. But of course, this is uh, much tougher because you need to have a very good hands and perfect timing. Uh, that's why Roger Federer is so good with that. Yeah, and you can see how Kevin is very, very uh, focused, as I mentioned, and there's not many emotions there. It's, it's almost like a machine just uh, doing his thing, and uh, the coach is there just as a support. Later on, he might say a word or two, but uh, nothing major. Here there is a first break, I'm enjoying my drink and uh, yes, Kevin is talking with his coach, so not much interaction uh, with my side, but I really didn't mind, I was just like still enjoying the moment. Here you can see the coach was a little bit uh, showing Kevin some uh, part of his back end, maybe giving him some tips. And now we are getting back slowly on court and here Kevin's coach was explaining to me how how we're gonna do the next exercise and he called it the Anderson drill. So at first I was a bit confused, I didn't know if I'm gonna make it, if I'm gonna understand, but actually the drill is quite simple. So basically Kevin is going one cross court, one down the line on the forehand side 
and on the backhand side he will go two cross courts, one down the line, where my job is only to hit cross courts all the time. There is a very similar drill I always do, which is uh, two cross courts, one down the line, but in Kevin's case he wants to focus more on that backhand, so he keeps it on the backhand side, but on the forehand he just has one cross court and then one down the line. And you will notice here, this was also very intense. We almost didn't have breaks here. It, it, this drill lasted for, I think, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Here, uh, we will show you just some moments of it. Again, some tips from, from coach. It's one thing to hit from one spot with these players. Completely other thing is when they start moving you and when you also need to direct the ball at certain areas. Uh, that's kind of challenging, first of all, physically and also skill-wise, and, and you need to be in a very good shape. You need to feel the ball so you can actually hit these heavy balls in the run. I was really trying my best. I think there were some pretty solid rallies. Of course, it was not on the level as maybe Kevin will have if he played with Djokovic or some of these guys, but like this point was pretty good. and. I think Kevin was pretty happy with that. Here we're gonna continue the same exercise I think. It's just a little bit different view. I remember I just focused on breathing here. I was trying to get as many breaths like between the, the rallies because it was extremely intense. And here I even, yes, I even forgot that he needs to hit the one, another extra backhand. Uh, but I think after this I was fine. Here it was um, interesting that Kevin's coach asked me to actually start every time with a forehand so I can be a little bit more aggressive on that first ball. It was very intense, as you can see, some shots, it was, uh, I was pushed to the limit, I was trying to get all these balls. Here, Kevin's coach acknowledged my uh, efforts to get this ball back, which really means a lot when you have this kind of training and you see they, they kind of show that, you know, it's good, it kind of gives you a bit more motivation and you get a bit more relaxed. And you will see here how intense this was, it's like, even for Kevin, he was not able to control the ball perfectly all the time. Uh, this was an interesting moment, I wasn't sure what was wrong, but again, it was only that Kevin wanted me to start with a forehand, even though that previous backhand was a pretty good shot. I just stayed there and... and try to give my best again to deliver heavy shots, precise shots and literally make every ball if I can. Of course there were there were some mistakes but uh, again from the side when I also watch this I cannot really feel or tell that it, it was so exhausting and physically demanding uh, but you will see in some points in some moments like here I remember it's there is a really like a burning feeling in the throat and like you just cannot get enough oxygen. Because these are the moments where, not that you're just physically so challenged, but it's also all the adrenaline and all the pressure, everything makes your body more exhausted and of course the excitement, it was just like unbelievable, unbelievable experience. see Kevin was trying here to hit and mix up a couple of slices. He was discussing with the coach how to do it more correctly. You can see on the Kevin side there are some fans kind of slowly gathering and they wanted to you know take some videos and photos and later on they're waiting for his autograph. In this case I, I 
punch that forehand because they, they told me I can hit anywhere the first ball, so sometimes it was just like a winner. Kevin was not expecting a certain side, but you will see here he was trying to work on that slice and later on when we change sides he will continue with the, with the work on slice. In general we were still doing the same exercise, so he would hit two times on the back end, cross court and then one down the line. He gets four hands, it will be one cross, one down the line. Every time the, the point would finish, I would kind of look forward to it, to catch a few breaths. Like here, I was hoping for a longer break, but then they said immediately, let's go for one more rally. and. I had no choice, I had to step up, I had to like fight through, it was, uh, but as soon as the rally starts you just like start running and you forget about being tired. Here finally they called for another break, so I had time to take a drink and relax a bit, walk around. Remember here I was really really struggling with breathing as you can see and then I used the chance to actually talk with a fitness coach maybe I as I recall I asked him something about this being so physically challenged you know with breathing and maybe how can improve that I mean of course I know I need to do more of this interval training now this is the part where we were actually doing only the back in cross courts and Kevin was focusing mostly on slice and I was just hitting mostly top spin but also sometimes I would hit slice. You will see that at this point Kevin was a little bit struggling with his back and slice. You would expect this kind of player to play almost without mistakes especially in the training. Now I don't know if he was trying to work on something specific on the slice, but actually this this rally was pretty good. But uh, you will see that he he made a couple of errors afterwards, and then he had to discuss with the coach about it. I was just focused on my side, and I was just trying not to miss and hit every ball, keep going, keep going all day if necessary. And with Kevin, that's the case. He's type of a player who was like a, working like a machine and I remember one match I watched him was in Wimbledon when he won some marathon match. I think it was uh, against John Isner, actually the same year when they went on and on with those big serves and he just looked like, like a machine. He was just going for the next game, for the next serve, on and on and on and, and then that's the case here. Even though he was missing, like many other players, they would get super upset, super angry, like here. He hit uh, quite a few in the net. Yes, he made some reaction here, but there was his coach, again, trying to give him some tips. And Kevin would just like keep working on it. Um, there was not much negativity, he would just focus on the next rally. I was still doing just my part. There was another net. At that moment I was not distracted by his mistakes. I was just focused on my side and I just wanted to deliver the best tennis and the most consistent shots as I can because I know that's what they need. But in, in this exercise it's actually not easy because Kevin was mixing this very difficult slices with some top spin. It's, it's very tough to keep this ball always in court. <laughs> but as you can see, Kevin was also struggling. I gave him some quite a deep shots there. But I remember it was super intense. Again, almost no breaks. So 
every time after not the greatest set of rallies Kevin would take a short break and try to reset and refocus reload and move on with the next rally completely focused and determined to get it right which is uh, definitely a trait of, of a champion This was a, a bit longer rally where he actually found found some control on the slice and I actually made a few mistakes there but uh, we, we kept the rally going which was good kept the ball still in play and Kevin was able to hit a few more slices in a proper way I think he, he found his rhythm here and finish with this shot that was amazing So thank you guys again for watching and please uh, come back and watch the part 2 and definitely for this video you like it, you share with your friends and subscribe and definitely follow us on our Instagram profile, we are putting out there a lot of different content and uh, we'll keep bringing you more of uh, videos like this and thank you again for watching and We'll see you very soon in the uh, next videos. Hi guys, just want to jump in really quickly here at the end. Thank you so much for watching our videos and for all of your engagement. It really means so much to us. And just want to say if you if you really enjoy consuming our content and if you support everything we do and you maybe want to kind of uh, contribute to our 10 Fitment team, you're very welcome to visit our Patreon page and I will put the, the link somewhere here and I will also put it down below in the description. Over there you will see we have many many cool projects and ideas in our minds and we are really looking forward to it and then with having you as our wings we will be able to get there much faster and actually make all this journey closer to you and share all these amazing moments with you. So, Please go there and check out the page. Once again, thank you so much for watching us and for following and we'll see you very soon in our next video.